Okay, we back to the channel. Vlog numero tres, number three. Yay, yay. You hear me? I'm gonna try to say that every, every, every daggone video. You hear me? Every video. I hope you're ready. Every video. <laughs> boots they have different compartments there's one two three four five and they max compress starting at your feet and they work your they work their way all the way up to your thighs and it's just supposed to be like a flush massage compression massage and they great I, I haven't used them enough so one of my resolutions for this year was i'm going to use these more and i'm going to maximize the resources maximize the resources that I have you know so let's get right into it we're gonna start with the scripture today and then I'll do a video recap and then I'm gonna send you off to the edited content so scripture today is Matthew 4 and 4 it reads Jesus answered it is written man does not live on bread alone but on every word that comes from the mouth of God so, that instantly makes me think of fasting. Usually, um, I would try to regularly do a fast, and I would go from midnight, the day of, midnight, 12 a.m., until like 2. And usually when I do that, I just feel like I'm more into what God is saying to me, what he wants from me. And, and it just, I feel like it directly relates to man doesn't live off bread alone. He, he lives off the voice of God, things that come out of God's mouth. So, like... You don't need to eat food like everything that you really need comes from god like like don't eat don't drink and watch and see what the god what god can provide for you you know so it instantly makes me think of fasting just going off of it so i really think that's important there's uh fasting is important because if one helps me make decisions the two gives me clarity for what god wants for me and wants wants me to understand and wants me to know and then it just it just makes me more tolerant. It makes me feel like I don't need I don't need to eat. I don't need to drink. I don't need to be on social media as much. Like like it's, it's one of those self disciplined things that that take me to a place of uncomfortability, and it makes me feel like I'm growing in Christ and just like in myself. So this is a really good scripture. It, it kind of knocks on the door of fasting. And if you haven't tried it and, and if you haven't done it in a while, I, I strongly encourage you to just try it. You know, try it for half a day, try it for a few hours, skip a couple meals, and ask God, like, what do you want me to know? What do you want me to understand? What do you want me to hear from you? You know, and um, that's taken me a, a really lo a long way. You know, that's helped me a lot. And it's something that I always keep in my back pocket when I really want to hear what God has for me or what he wants me to understand or know. Then that's when I fast. So, moving on. Next, we'll talk about the um, edited content. So, I decided to do a compilation of videos from this past year. I uh, recently. Cyrus. So, let me fix it again. Dang. You're messing up my whole setup. So, this year, I recently bought a drone, Mavic Mini. And it's one of my favorite purchases that I ever made, right? I love this drone. It's super compact. I can travel with it. I can get it really adds a nice dynamic to all the video content that I have. And it's just it's just super nice. I love it. It's 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 not super cheap. Um, highly recommend if, if you want to up your game with videography or video editing, I highly, highly encourage you to purchase the Magic Mavic Mini or any other drone, any DJI drone. Because it, it just, it's just fun. It's, it just adds a nice dynamic to all my videos. And I absolutely love it. Um, quick story. Oh, man. So, 
Um, I'm actually using, I was using my drone in San Diego because San Diego is one of the most beautiful places that I've been. I like it, it's fun. And my girlfriend was getting photos of me and another couple that we went with. Lovely couple, I love them. Youth Men and Yummy. Shout out to y'all. I'm gonna actually tag y'all so you can watch the video. And um, my stupid self, here I am all macho. I think I know my drone, you know, it's fine. I let Youthman, the boyfriend, I let Yimmy's boyfriend like uh, fly the drone. And I was like, yo, like, just get some flybys, like fly it over the water, fly it back and forth, you know, get some good shots. And I checked the battery and I think it says like 10 minutes left on the battery. So I'm like, oh, we're fine. We'll just get a couple flybys and then land, you know? And uh, I knew that the battery, the low battery setting had come up a few times. And I told him, I was like, yeah, don't worry about it, yo. You don't, don't need to worry about it. Like if the, if the low battery sign comes up, just hit cancel. It's all good. We only got a couple flybys and we good. So here I am posing with Tori, getting some nice shots, getting some some circles, getting some like circles, some, some flybys, like posing, smiling. And uh, we get all the shots that we wanted. And uh, it was actually kind of funny. Youthman is flying the drone back. And like it's right, it's right by the edge. Like I'm literally in my hands. Like almost about to be in my hands. And like I turn around for half a second, and all I hear is you. Like, bang, bang, bang. And like I turn around, the drone's not in the air anymore. <laughs> anyway, so the drone flies like it's not in the air anymore. It, the battery dies mid-flight, and the drone plummets into the Pacific Ocean. Into the ocean. And it's just far enough out of reach where we can't just go grab it. And the waves are crashing into the rock, like like pushing, like it's a like huge waves are coming in and out. Like you, I can literally see the drone in the water, but like we were on cliffs, so like it was super rocky. There was no safe way to get down. And then once you get into water, it's like super deep. So we're literally standing on the edge watching my drone, like get knocked around by the waves. Like one kid was fishing, there was a kid fishing. I was like, yo, could I borrow your fishing rod? and I'm like fishing for it and everything. End of the story, I didn't get my drone back. I lost it and I was heartbroken. I was like, dang, like maybe, maybe God don't want me to do this no more. You know, I just lost it. Like maybe I'll just stick to my, just go one track, go one, I'll be good. <laughs> but anyway, Yuzma felt bad and Yimmy felt bad because like even after it happened, like I made sure they didn't feel bad. Cause that was Youthman's first time flying a drone. And I was like, yo, don't feel bad. I should have checked the battery. It's not your fault. He was like, yo, I feel so bad. That was the last thing I wanted to happen. I was like, yo, you good. Like, don't even worry about it. Like, it's my fault. You good. Like, I still want you to have a good trip. Cause we were only there for a few days. And I was like, yo, just enjoy your trip. Like, don't even trip about it. It's just a drone. Like, these are memories that we can't get back. Like, we didn't travel to meet our friends. Like, don't let this make you feel bad in this trip. You good, you know? So they actually felt really bad and they felt they they felt the need to um, go out of their way and get me a new drone. So Yimmy, Youthman, and Tor all put in to give me a new drone, which was actually beautiful. And I was like, dang, like I got I got an amazing girlfriend and she has amazing friends because to be honest, I don't even I don't even know if my friends would have got me a new drone. I don't even think that would have happened, but Nonetheless, I'm super thankful and super appreciative to um, to Yimmy and Youthman and Tor, and I will never ever forget that, you know. So um, thank you to y'all for giving my drone back, igniting that passion back in me to get out there and get some good footage, and and I appreciate y'all. Um, so that's the story about how I lost my first drone, and that's that. Moving on to the edit, the edit that I'm doing. It's a compilation of all the drone footage that I got for the past, since March, since I got my drone. And I got a bunch of training footage, I got some practice footage, I got some travel footage because I was actually able to go overseas and, and race for like six weeks. So I got a bunch of footage over there. And I went to Tahiti and I went to San Diego. So like this is all of my favorite shots from all of those. So this video will be titled 47 reasons why you need to buy a Mavic Mini. 
47. I got 47 reasons why you need to purchase a drone if you want to up your change the dynamic of your content. I hope you enjoy it. Um, hope you like it. Please comment and let me know what you think about it or not. But here's the end of the content. I hope you enjoy it. I'll catch you later. You feel me?